Thanks, David. Um, so, uh, you know, I've been really fascinated by this question of how we keep people relevant in the era of digital disruption, right? So, so I created the, the four most profitable online classes in history for MIT and Oxford that focused on technologies like blockchain and fintech and how people who, you know, about 50% of the financial services industry at risk of losing their jobs, how those people can get upskilled and reskilled to continue to be relevant. And, and so that, that was exciting, and then we ended up starting a company out of a discussion here at Davos in 2019, not 2020, uh, in the hallway, actually, in Hotel Europe, uh, uh, where one of the deans from Oxford said, you know, we need an innovation partner. We want you to create an innovation partner, and MIT quickly jumped in and raised their hand as well and said, yeah, yeah, we want one of those too. Uh, and so we started Esme Learning out of conversations to to continue to innovate in how we keep people relevant, how we upskill and reskill. And so it probably comes as no surprise that, you know, maybe it was about six months ago, uh, we get a phone call because people had started noticing what we were doing with Esme, uh, where we're working now with MIT and Oxford and Cambridge and Imperial College. And, and they said, you know, we want you to help uh, bring the top universities into the metaverse. And so they, uh, the, the company shall remain nameless because we haven't announced this yet, but uh, a very large tech company uh, commissioned us to create a metaverse game uh, out of a curriculum from a top university. And so we've been piloting, piloting it this month uh, with BU and Northeastern students. Uh, and then a very a big four accountancy came to us and said, we want to be the first corporate customer to help people understand leadership skills in the digital era. And we think metaverse is the best way to convey these, these soft skills, these EQ skills, because it's such a tactile and visceral medium. Um, so that's what we're working on in the metaverse.